Well, hey folks, welcome back. How about those airships, huh? There's something, I tell ya. Let's get it on. How's that blasted thing looking at us? Say goodnight, Booth. What was that all about? That? Nothing. Just making our guest uncomfortable. Boss! It's the Black Hats! I have them on the radio. They want to know what you want with Booth. Well, that was fast. Not too surprising, considering half of Skyhaven saw you shoot Booth down. Mm, patch it through, Sparks. This is Ace Dixon of the Black Hat Squadron. Listen here, Zachary. Keep your trap shut, Dixon. Here's the deal. You give us our crews and I give you Booth. This is how it's going to happen. In 15 minutes, I'm going to drop off Booth under the Devil's Horn where we can keep an eye on him. When I do, you'll radio the location of the Fortune Hunter and Black Swan crews. When we confirm that our crews are safe, we'll let you pick up Booth. Any funny business and they'll have to put Booth in a pine box with a strainer. Don't be late. Do you really think you can trust the Black Hats, boss? No further than I can throw them. But the Devil's Horn isn't the easiest place to get to, so it should buy us some time to confirm that the crews are where the Black Hats say they are. When we find the crews, I'll dock wherever they are and make sure they're okay. Then we'll return to the Pandora. Nathan, our crews combined are almost a dozen. How do you plan on rescuing that many people? I have no idea. Now, if you excuse me, I've got a rat to deliver. Well, how about that? Look at this damn Ford hoplite waiting. Oh, choose me. Yeah, right. Okie doke. Uh, we don't need any of that. Let's go ahead and use the old... Hello. Huh. I seem to have sold my, uh, Devastator. Stand by. Okay. Hey, there we go. Here goes. Let's change out this ammo here. Of course, we're going to want explosives, as usual. We're going to try something a little different here. Uh, we are going to try some of the alternate, uh, items. Uh, for the rockets, uh, let's see. First off, we're gonna give ourselves some um, high explosives. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna see what I need those for in just a little bit. But for the rest of these guys, let's do some of these. Let's see. We're gonna do a rear flash. That's kind of neat. Or we could do smoke. Hmm, short range smoke emitters. Smoke isn't very useful, so let's do rear flash rockets. Okay, a bunch of sonic rockets. The sonic, as you'll recall, creates a blast that stuns and deafens opposing pilots, thus making them easier targets. They inflict no damage and have a limited range. The thing about the sonic and the flash rockets is that they neither of them do any damage. What they do is they confuse the hell out of the pilot, and if you get them at just the right time, you can get the enemy to crash into things. Uh, so, actually, that being the case, let's go with Flash and just a couple Sonics. So, that should be good. Five hard points, always useful. Let's go. There's a puppy. Zachary to Pandora. Operation Garbage Dump is underway. Roger that, sir. Try not to get your hands dirty. Over. <laughs> very funny, wise guy. Very... Ha! Ah. Not the nose again, not the nose! I'm sorry, I'll shut up! That's a good boy. So here we are in Colorado, flying through the Devil's Horn, yet another of these impossible geographic features. <laughs> What's the matter, Booth? Afraid I'd drop you without a shoot? Okay, you weasels. You've got your bus back. Now where's my crew? <laughs> They're tied up in the cargo zeppelin at the dry dock. They've been right under your nose all along. What? You heard them, Swan. Let's get a move on. Oh, and you better hurry. I say impossible because granite doesn't really do that. Oh, sorry. So good of you to return me to my crew. So I'm afraid there'll be no reunion for you. What are you playing at, Booth? Simple. The cargo zeppelin is rigged with enough dynamite to blow them to Chicago. Your crew's inside are done for. This ain't over yet, pal. Zachary to Black Swan. I'm going to blast the zeppelin free and dock with it. 
Need you to cover me. My pleasure. And be quick about it. There isn't much time. That's it, Nathan. Hurry up and destroy the rest. Pretty simple little, uh, little challenge here. Just gotta destroy all the stuff holding this Zeppelin in place. Almost done! When the Zeppelin is free, I'll dock with it. So that the Zeppelin will float away, uh, which will then allow you to dock with it in the air. Right now, it's, uh, it's a little too low. That could get dangerous. Okay. That's it! The Zeppelin is free and the wind is lifting it away from the dry dock! Nice work! Now hurry up, that Zeppelin hasn't got much time left. As soon as it clears the dry dock, I'll dock with it and find our crews. Thank God, we can find our We've crews. We've got company. Black Hat Fighters incoming. Let's dance. That's the spirit! Let's try out these new rockets. Down in front, enemy 12 o'clock low. What was a surprise? You're right, enemy 3 o'clock high. Oh, got myself. Gotta watch out for that. Think again, old boy. You're right, enemy 3 o'clock high. No, slipped away. You stirred the hornet's nest, darling. Head on, enemy 12 o'clock. Once again, we are fighting brigands with that rear-firing gun. This over yet, but this time, fire we've got big guns of our own. And these brigands are fond of fancy maneuvers, so. Occasionally, the away, they will crash. Defensive fire commencing. Head on, enemy. Oh, and as you can see, we've got the uh, Pandora providing support fire for us this time. Behind you, enemy six o'clock. Well played, Pyre. Okay. I'll get you next time. Let's get on that crane. Oh boy. <laughs> This gets difficult because this is not actually a Zeppelin dock. Oh boy. I get a couple of holes. Hookup complete. Going inside to find our crews and untied. Swan, you keep the hats busy until I'm done. You got it! Boss, it's Sparks. The black hats are ganging up on the black swan pretty bad. I'll be there in a minute. Hang in there, Swan. Nathan, I'm having problems. Control's not responding. Bail out, Swan! We'll find you, don't worry. Forget about me. Nothing you can do here. Oh no, she's down, Skipper. The hats are all over her. Oh boy. Okay, let's throttle Swan, up and get out. Zachary. Our crews are airborne. Thanks for the save, Cap. That would have been the end of us. Thank heaven. I thought I'd never see you guys again. Sorry to interrupt the reunion. But we've got some Warhawks coming in on the Pandora. Let's give them Black Hats the whole works, gang. Boss, the Warhawks are carrying something. Are those extra fuel tanks? Torpedoes! Boss, they've got aerial torpedoes! Calm down, kid. Don't lose your head. Get Pandora's turrets firing. Focus on the torpedoes. Roger. Pandora turrets open fire. That goes double for everyone else. Shoot down the aerial torpedoes. Just one of those packs, enough punch to rip open a gas bag. You guys did it! I thought I was a goner for sure! So as you can see, we just knocked out all four of those Warhawks. Don't start celebrating so soon. It's about time you made it to the party, Zachary. The boys and I were thinking you might not show. Ace Dixon? Damn! How many times do I have to shoot you down to get rid of you anyway? Come and get me, pretty boy, if you can. Okay, all I got left are the rear firing flash rounds. I sent that one away. Someone give me a hand here, will ya? Tally-o! Ah, it's fire. 
Okay. That one's out of our hands. These are actually pretty effective, aren't they? I can't take much more of this abuse. Over. We should talk to someone about that. Oh, whoa. The AI is beginning to get unerringly accurate with the uh, AP rockets. Oh. It's not. Nothing oh, a little paint can I'm out of rockets. So. Oh, yeah. Let's do this the old fashioned way. Oh. Close. Took an AP rocket right to the wing. If that had been to the engine, this would be game over. But this is it for a stick. Tough break, Cap. Looks like he hit the silk in time. I swear that teabag's got nine lives. Huh. Maybe he'll land on his head this time. Well, that was that level. Pretty fun one. Wait, somebody's still shooting. Ah! I nearly have this one over. Prepare yourself for a proper thrashing. I lost the devil over. Let's take care of this real quick. How about I have to bail out. Zachary, to all units. Looks like the coast is clear. Let's go home. Roger that, Skipper. You're clear to land. Over. Uh, I'm sorry about the Black Swan, sir. I hope she's all right. For their sakes, she better be, Spurs. She better be. was a pretty fun mission. Got one brigand, Ace Dixon, and then four regular brigands. Now, uh, like I was saying earlier uh, with those Warhawks, there were four of them there. Uh, because I tagged them with the uh, Sonic rocket, right, as they were approaching the Pandora, none of them had a chance to fire. Uh, two of them crashed just after that, and then the uh, wingman shot down the other two. So I didn't get credit for any of those, but those, uh, those flash and uh, and sonic rockets are incredibly effective. Okay, here we go. Nation Thack Nation bleh, bleh, bleh. Zachary explosive in action. Fortune Hunters versus the Black Hats. And sure enough, look at that. We got uh, got the correct plane, the Devastator. So no blah blah. Most Air Scouts. Not sure what that is. Uh, but here we go. When I went up in my Liberty Auto Gyro in the Rocky Mountains, I got really lucky. I didn't see an Auto Gyro out there. Oh well. So here we go. I'm through my camera exposure. Da, 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 da. My scoutmaster. Oh wait a minute. Air scouts. Oh. <laughs> okay, they're airplane-based boy scouts. That's uh, that's different. Here we go. The whole crew. Everybody's rescued. Uh, there's all these idiot sparks. And uh, Ilsa. Ilsa's uh, in on this, even though she didn't really do much here. Uh, okay, so. Again, with Colorado having lots of pictures. Hey, wait a minute. I'm sure I got one of those. I guess not. Uh, alrighty. So, there it is. That level. Uh, not a whole lot to that one. Just showing that uh, Zachary knows how to get the best out of a bad situation. Uh, and pretty soon, we are going to be moving across the country again. So, let's take a look at this week's point of the day. The Lockheed F-104 Starfighter is an American single-engined, high-performance supersonic interceptor aircraft that served with the United States Air Force from 1958 to 1969. 
Clarence Kelly Johnson, the chief engineer at Lockheed Skunk Works, visited Korea in December 1951 and spoke with the fighter pilots about what sort of aircraft they wanted. At the time, the U.S. pilots were confronting the MiG-15s with F-86 Sabres and many of the American pilots felt that the MiGs were superior to the larger and more complex American design. The pilots requested a small and simple aircraft with excellent performance. On his return to the United States, Johnson immediately started with the design of such an aircraft. In order to achieve the desired performance, Lockheed chose a minimalist approach, a design that would achieve high performance by wrapping the lightest, most aerodynamically efficient airframe possible around a single, powerful engine. The engine chosen was the new General Electric J-79, an engine of dramatically improved performance compared to contemporary designs. The F-104 featured a radical wing design, most jet fighters of the period used a swept wing or delta wing platform. This allowed a reasonable balance between aerodynamic performance, lift, and internal space for fuel and equipment. Lockheed's tests, however, determined that the most efficient shape for a high-speed supersonic flight was a very small, straight, mid-mounted trapezoidal wing. Commencing with the Operation Rolling Thunder campaign, the Starfighter was used both in the air superiority role and in the air support mission role. Although it saw little aerial combat and scored no air-to-air -air kills, starfighters were successful in deterring MiG interceptors. During that first deployment, two starfighters were shot down by ground fire and two F-104s were lost to a mid-air collision associated with that air-to-air -air battle. At the same time that the 104 was falling out of U.S. favor, the Luftwaffe was looking for a foreign-designed multi-role combat aircraft to operate in support of a missile defense system. The Starfighter was presented and reworked to convert it from a fair-weather fighter into an all-weather ground attack, reconnaissance, and interceptor aircraft as the F-104G. The international service of the F-104 began to wind down in the late 1970s, being replaced in many cases by the F-16 Fighting Falcon, but it remained in service with some air forces for another two decades. The last operational Starfighter served with the Italian AMI, which retired them on October 31, 2004.